What's up everybody? It's Tyler from Second Glass and it's the wine of the weekend. And this week we are doing port wine. Let's see, I'm gonna get comfortable. <sighs> We're doing port this week. Well, because it's an amazing drink, it's also really ridiculously cold on the East Coast and Boston has like 9,000 feet of snow. And what do you need when it's really freezing cold, but you need something with some more alcohol content and something that is kind of like heavy and that ports exactly that. So the first wine we have this weekend is the Graham's Six Grapes wine. It's kind of made to be a vintage port, but an everyday version. Vintage port takes two years in a barrel and then they have to age it for a really long time in order for it to come into its own. Like the 1977s, you can just start drinking now. If you don't want to wait, but you still want some of those flavors, you still get a lot of that great port flavor for 20 bucks. Keep this one around at all times. You can pour some into a flask and carry it around with you like I like to do when it's snowing. The next up we have is a tawny and this is a 10 year tawny. And so what we're drinking is the Quinta de Noval 10 year tawny port. Tawny port is made slightly differently from vintage port or ruby port. Basically what they do is they harvest the grapes, they make it into wine, and then they let them sit in these open casks or these barrels and they'll age them for two years, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, 80 years. And then what they do is they blend these wines together and the goal is to make a port that tastes like a 10 year vintage port. These are a really great bet because as soon as they stick them in the bottle, they're meant to be drank. So you shouldn't age these longer than, well, really like a day or two after you buy them. Now that's not true, you can keep them for like a couple of months, but I like to drink them pretty quickly. When you see port houses and they say the word quinta on them, that's basically like the Portuguese word for chateau. The Quinta port houses are made in the Portuguese style. You know, the last one we had was Grams, which is clearly a British company that makes wine in Portugal. But the Quinta de Noval is actually a Portuguese company. It's a little bit more traditional and it's very indicative of like what the Portuguese flavors are. The third wine we have for you guys is something called the Late Bottled Vintage or LBV. The Late Bottled Vintage they make almost the same way as Vintage Port. They don't age it quite as long in the barrel and the government doesn't have to declare a vintage year. What happens is the port house sets out to make a vintage port. Let's say the grapes didn't turn out as well as they wanted to to sell maybe like a $200 bottle of port or like a $150 bottle of port. So what they do is they take these grapes and they put it into the late bottled vintage. And so these go for like 30 or 40 bucks. They have a lot of that flavor that you get from a vintage port, but at like a quarter of the price. This is the Fonseca Porto, it's a 2008, so all the grapes come from this exact year. And this one is unfiltered. When you filter anything, you're gonna remove sediment, but you're also gonna remove flavors. So when you don't filter it, you're gonna get some sediment left over from the grape process. So there might be some grape skins, some little tiny, tiny pieces. It's kind of like half of ice and beer. When you drink a half of ice and beer, there's some of that yeast on the bottom of the bottle, so you might get some of that in here. So when you're pouring it, that last glass might just be a little bit cloudy, but that means that all the flavor is still in the bottle. So it's really cold out in most of the country. You're gonna want something that's heavy, it's fruity, it's a little bit sweet. So you can grab a glass of port, you can drink it after dinner, you can have it before dinner. It's great with chocolate. You can pour it on your ice cream, put some in your flask, thousand different uses. Drink support this weekend. Cheers.